A very good morning, my dear friends, and welcome to our channel, Mother Mary's Protection. My dear friends, may the peace and healing of the Lord be with you all as we bring to you the readings of today's Holy Mass. Let us now listen to the Word of God. This is Catholic Daily Mass Readings and Reflections for December 20, 2023, Wednesday of the third week of Advent. First reading, a reading from the prophet Isaiah, chapter 7, verses 10 to 14. The Lord spoke further to Ahaz, saying, Ask for a sign for yourself from the Lord your God, from the depths below, even to the heights above. And Ahaz said, I will not ask, for I will not tempt the Lord. And he said, then listen, O house of David, is it such a small thing for you to trouble men, that you must also trouble my God? For this reason, the Lord himself will grant to you a sign. Behold, a virgin will conceive, and she will give birth to a son, and his name will be called Emmanuel. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Response, real psalm. Your response. Let the Lord enter. He is the King of glory. The lords are the earth and its fullness, the world and those who dwell in it. For he founded it upon the seas and established it upon the rivers. Your response. Let the Lord enter. He is the King of glory. Who can ascend the mountain of the Lord, or who may stand in his holy place? He whose hands are sinless, whose heart is clean, who desires not what is vain. Your response, let the Lord enter, he is the king of glory. He shall receive a blessing from the Lord, a reward from God his saviour. Such is the race that seeks for him, that seeks the face of the God of Jacob. Your response, let the Lord enter, he is the king of glory. The acclamation, Alleluia, Alleluia, O key of David, opening the gates of God's eternal kingdom, come and free the prisoners of darkness. Alleluia, Alleluia. Gospel, a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke chapter, 20, chapter 1 verses 26 to 38. And in the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God into a city of Galilee called Nazareth to a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. And coming to her, he said, Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. But she was greatly troubled at what was said and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. Then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. Behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give him the throne of David his father, and he will rule over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there shall be no end. But Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I have no relations with the man? And the angel said to her in reply, The Holy Spirit will come upon you and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. And behold, your cousin Elizabeth, she also has conceived a son in her old age. And this is the sixth month with her, who is called barren. Because no word shall be impossible with God. 
And Mary said, Behold, the handmaid of the Lord, be it done to me according to your word. And the angel departed from her. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today's reflection on the readings. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, what is the lesson for us from Luke chapter 1 verses 26 to 38? A virgin finds out she would miraculously bear the Son of God according to Luke chapter 1 verses 26 to 38. Mary, who is engaged to a man named Joseph, receives a visit from the angel Gabriel. Mary is informed by Gabriel that she will give birth to a son who will be known as Jesus. He will be the long-awaited promised one, promised one that the Israelites have been waiting for. I repeat, he will be the long-awaited promised one that the Israelites have been waiting for. My dear friends, here is evidence of God's love for Mary. Let us pause to give thanks to our Lord for his unending love for Mary and all of us, keeping in mind the prophet Jeremiah's words, with the age-old love, I have loved you. My dear family of Mother Mary's protection, Mary's mission is based on faith. There was a special and significant task associated with God's love for Mary. You will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall name him Jesus. Mary, aware that God had prepared this mission for her, accepted it with faith. God has a purpose in store for us as well. Maybe we are still looking for that mission. Or maybe we have already found it. In any case, we must constantly beg God for the ability to say, May it be done to me according to your word as Mama Mary said and did. Prayer I believe everything inside of me is being renewed by you, Lord. Lord Jesus, I pray that you would honor your promise to be merciful to me both in this life and the next. I love you, Lord, because I know that you have had a specific purpose in mind for me from the beginning of time. Give me the fortitude to complete the task. Amen. My dear friends, please do like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching. God bless you.